Now we all love to float down the river on a beautiful sunny day or go fishing and try to catch a little peace of mind. But there are some rivers you might catch something a bit scarier than peace of mind. From the Amazon to the Nile and more, here are the most dangerous rivers in the world today. Number eight, the Amazon River. Sometimes a river is dangerous just because of the waters themselves and how they ebb and flow. But in regards to the Amazon River, located within the Amazon rainforest, this river is dangerous because of what resides inside those waters. Visiting this beautiful place is the coveted dream of many nature lovers and wildlife enthusiasts from around the world. But as you probably know, the Amazon rainforest itself is full of all sorts of dangers and the river is no less dangerous. And many would argue that there are even more dangerous things lurking in the water. There are creatures like piranha who swim in large groups and are not that small like you might think. These creatures can rip flesh from an animal in seconds. The feeding frenzy you've seen on TV is quite real. There are also creatures like black caimans, one of the world's largest crocodiles, electric eels that will give you quite a shock, giant green anacondas that hunt anything from wild pigs, deer, even jaguars. The list of dangers goes on and on. Some of these creatures are massive and some are small. But the point here is that there is a wide variety of creatures within this river that can not just hurt you, but kill you if given the chance. Falling into the river is almost a death sentence. If you do go down to the Amazon River, you need to keep your head on a swivel. Watch your sectors. Number seven, the Nile River. There are many dangers to be found in the Nile River. Deadly snakes, spiders, huge aggressive animals and crocodiles, as well as some unfriendly native people. Yes, it is a life-saving amount of water for various nations. Many use it for irrigation to grow food and crops. But not unlike other rivers, it's one that is home to many dangerous creatures that aren't afraid to attack people who get into it. One of the most daunting possibilities when touring the Nile River is the prospect of coming face to snout with the Nile crocodile. The Nile crocodile, which obviously resides in the Nile River, is one of the biggest crocs in the world. This croc is known as a literal man-eater, and that's not a hyperbole. These crocs are known to go after people rather aggressively. Some even say that hundreds of people die from Nile crocodiles every year. Another deadly threat in this river is the big hippopotamus, a legendary killer who you might think is slow, but they're actually very, very fast and deadly. They're not afraid to knock over boats and even bite people in half. Quite impressive. Add to that, there are dangerous snakes, spiders, and mosquitoes that might carry diseases like West Nile and so on and so forth. Think about it like this. This is easily one of the longest rivers in the world with a long list of dangers. And that means there's a lot of space to fill it with dangerous things. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and hit subscribe for more videos like these. Number six, Rio Tinto. Aside from being home to deadly animals, a river can also be deadly and dangerous because of its makeup, meaning the literal chemicals and entities that reside within it. A great example of this is the orangish red Rio Tinto River in Spain. This river is known for its composition and not in a good way. You see, between both natural and man-made incidents, the water of this river is very acidic. The Rio Tinto area has been the source of approximately 5,000 years of ore mining, including copper, silver, gold, and other minerals, extracted as far as 20 kilometers from the river shores. As a result of the mining, the Rio Tinto is notable for being very acidic and its deep reddish hue is due to iron dissolved in the water. Acid mine drainage from the mines leads to severe environmental problems. It's not clear how much acid drainage has come from natural processes and how much has come from mining. Now, technically speaking, there is life within this acidic river, including red and green algae that surprises people. But for a human to go into this river would be bad in the worst of ways. There are even some who think the acidic nature of the river is hurting the environment around it. Though, if you look at the river from above, 
you can see that it cleans up around the town of Nibla, so there is a start and stopping point, if you will, that people can adhere to. I wouldn't take my chances. Number five, the Yangtze River. In China, you'll find the Yangtze River, a 4,000 mile river that's importance is huge to the region as a whole because of its various uses over the years. To name some, it's been known for irrigation, sanitation, transportation, industry, boundary marking, and war. So yeah, it's been used a lot, but that's also part of the problem. Because over the last several years, the river has been constantly polluted by various industrial products, as well as being home to agricultural runoff and even having incredibly high silt levels. Plus, because of all the things done on and around the river over the years, it's now a place where a lot of flooding happens. In 1953, a massive flood occurred on the river and 30,000 people died as a result. Adding to the visual danger of the river, in 2014, it turned red, probably due to too much iron dissolved. Care for a dip? Probably not. So while there is little doubt that this river holds great importance to China throughout history, it does need a cleanup if it's to continue being so helpful. Number four, the boiling river. The term boiling water often refers to cooking, like boiling noodles for pasta or boiled eggs. Yet thanks to Explorer, Andre Russo, we know that there is a river in the Amazon rainforest that is quite literally boiling. I'm not talking about a relaxing hot springs here. This water is way too hot to chill in. It's called the Shinaitim Pishka and has been known to the native people of Peru who have lived there in the forest near it for quite some time. The temperature of the water is a scorching 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that just about anything alive that goes into it will be boiled alive. Even the mud that's made from this water is so hot to touch that it can cause third degree burns. This river is considered the only boiling river in the world today, and there's no definitive answer as to why it is this way. The best guess is that this part of the river is somehow attached to a geothermal vent, which exhumes a lot of heat and makes it boil to this degree. This theory has been questioned due to the fact that the nearest volcano is 400 miles away from the river, adding to the mystery even more. What do you think it is? Let me know in the comments below. Despite it being a majorly dangerous river, there are people who use parts of the river in their everyday lives, including boiling food or doing laundry. There are even healing centers that use the water for their practices. It's an odd wonder that this river boils, yet no one can say why. This river really is a true mystery of the world. Number three, Yenisei River. The Yenisei River in Russia is the true divider between East and West Siberia. It's also one of the world's largest rivers by discharge. It's so massive that it actually goes right through many major cities in Russia. However, while the river is big, it's also radioactive. This happened because Bolshoi Bolshug a plutonium factory that made bombs. They've been putting the discharge from this process into the river for decades, making it full-on radioactive as a result. The factory owner claims there is no real harm that can be had by dumping the waste into the river. Um, really, dude? Numerous communities alongside the river have reported numerous cancers as well as genetic defects. Plus, people eat fish from this river, and that could contribute to these terrible health conditions. Not really sure why anyone would eat fish from the river, but okay, Russia. So should you find yourself in this location and fancy a swim, don't, unless you're trying to grow a third arm or something. Number two, Bubbly Creek. In Chicago, there's a place called Bubbly Creek. This creek is not a river per se, but it is in fact the South Fork of the South Branch of the Chicago River and it's got quite a history, and not exactly a good one. You see, this part of the river used to flow into Lake Michigan, but in the 20th century, the people of Chicago reversed the flow. Why? Because Bubbly Creek was polluted, and Lake Michigan was the main resource for the city, and they didn't want that polluted. That right there is enough to make it dangerous, but you need to know why it's called Bubbly Creek. It's because it's like a bubble bath for dead animals. Within this part of the river are loads of animal carcasses. Ew. There was a meat plant in Chicago that dumped the remains of the animals in the river. 
and as they decomposed, they released a gas that bubbled to the surface. The only thing that truly lives there are bloodworms that happily eat the waste. A study was done on the river, and it was found that the bottom three feet of it, at some points, is all animal remains. Not a pretty picture. To be fair, there have been attempts to clean the river, but it's not easy, and the bad stuff remains. Wastewater is still being dumped into it, and the creek is stagnant in flow. So, all in all, you probably want to avoid this place. Number 1. Zambezi River The Zambezi River is hailed by some as the most dangerous river in the world. One writer of The Guardian did an expedition of the river and counted 188,000 crocodiles and 90,000 hippos. Yeah, if you crunch those numbers, that's a lot of deadly animals that can crunch on you. Yet despite the numerous dangerous animals, thousands of people visit every year. Rafting on the Zambezi River is considered one of the most extreme entertainments in the world. The logic behind wanting to get into a raft and go down this river is lost to me. The river is incredibly intense and rushing. Huge stones and trenches are hidden under the swirling waves that can cause all sorts of injuries. The water can easily launch a person into the air, back into the water, and drown you with no real effort. In terms of man-made problems, there are parts of the river that are near urban areas and have untreated sewage that is dumped into the river, which is never a good thing for the planet. Thanks for watching. What do you think of these dangerous rivers in the world? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.